Alrighty, last week I released the Ski Jump Marble Machine video. It looked great and ran great. The whole purpose of building this first marble machine is to stress test the Universal Marble Machine lift, to see how well it performs with a full amount of marbles cycling through it. If you spotted it in the video at the end, it had some issues. A bunch of marbles found their way off the lift at the entrance. Now, a few marbles falling off every once in a while is fine, but this is way too many. Some of them are from the ski jump, but the majority of these are from the lift. I took another video of the machine running with a full load of marbles. With the extra weight of the marbles entering the lift, it causes there to be a larger gap. A small amount of marbles doesn't have this issue, just when it's at max capacity. In order to fix this issue with the gap, I'm going to add some adjustable rollers using skateboard wheels. These rollers get bolted right to the frame. They're adjustable to hold the conveyor belt right up to the entrance ramp, especially when there's extra weight. The only way to test this out is to turn it on and let her rip. Some observations I have about the lift. The conveyor belt has 62 rows, and it takes almost exactly 20 seconds to do a full cycle. Three cycles per minute, so that's 186 rows per minute. I took a sampling of the lift during this, and it appears to have an average of 15 marbles per row. So every minute, it's turning 2,800 marbles up the lift. That's insane. If I were to let it run for an hour, the lift would cycle 167,000 marbles. I can't even fathom that. It's nuts. I mean, I don't think I'd run it for an hour, but who knows, we'll see. The rows are capable of holding at least 25 marbles, maybe even more. So it has the capabilities of lifting between four and 5,000 marbles every minute. I might need to get some more marbles. The ski jump is a quick turnaround, so longer and slower machines will need more marbles if I'm looking to run it at full capacity like this. I did run it for about 10 minutes, so with the average in mind, it would have cycled 28,000 marbles. With just the one change of adding the skateboard wheels behind the belt, it was night and day for the reliability. I picked up all the marbles that had found their way to the floor. There were about two dozen, and about half was from a bad hop off the ski jump. When I looked back at the footage, I could only spot a few marbles finding a way off the lift, 
and most of the incidents were from too many marbles at once. 12-ish fails out of 28,000 are odds that I'm going to call a complete success. I just need to try and make the downhill runs more reliable, though I'm probably going to try to keep pushing the limits there. Alright, this lift is now fine-tuned for future marble machines. It's time to retire the ski jump and build something new. That's the beauty of this lift. It simplifies the process, so I can now spend all my time focusing on building awesome downhill marble runs. Okay, that's it for now. See ya. Oh, sit. Yeah, you're just... Thank you. 